What is going on everyone? Grunge Off Gaming back here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the best way to get into playable lobbies in Apex Legends Season 13. The method I'll be going over in today's video is definitely the best method that we have in game right now. Before we get into it, definitely make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. It comes at no expense to you and you can always unsubscribe later. With that out of the way, let's get right into today's video. Now jumping right in, I'm going to be going over the steps right now and then I'll go over in depth how this method works. What you will need to do first is start up a match of duos or trios, whichever one is faster for you to queue into, and make sure Phil is off so you'll be the only one on your team. Now once you queue into a match, wait until you load onto the dropship. As soon as you load onto the dropship and you see a timer start counting down, leave the game as quickly as you can. Once you do this, you should be returned to the main lobby and then you're going to want to repeat this around 5 times. Now this season of Apex Legends definitely sets a record for being one of the hardest seasons to get a good match in, especially if you are a casual. Usually in Apex Legends, if you have a good game or two, your matches after that will become incredibly hard and the game ends up putting you against other players who are on a totally different skill level than you are. And by doing this method, it's basically just telling the game that you haven't performed too well in your last couple matches because you've only survived a couple seconds in each of the matches. So instead of having to be stuck in super hard matches for a couple of hours, you can just do this and you should notice that the lobbies become a lot less difficult than they were before. You guys might be wondering why this even happens, why after a couple good games, do I always get thrown into super hard lobbies? And the answer to that is the matchmaking algorithms that the game uses to decide what matches you go into and what teammates you get. And not to mention, it decides the skill level of players it thinks you should be going up against, which we know by now the matchmaking system in Apex Legends isn't always the best. And with all that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Again, we are on our way to reach our goal of 8,000 subscribers by the end of July, so a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed and to those who are considering subscribing. Have a great rest of your day everyone and I'll see you all around later. Bye guys!